Tell us a little bit about your characters in your own words and uh, how you related to these two very handsome elves. Uh, I think it's interesting. I'm the oldest brother of four, and Chris is the youngest brother of two, and a sister. Yeah. So we kind of switched. So now I'm playing the younger brother, and he's playing the older brother. So it's really nice for us to kind of make that switch. And because Chris and I are obviously so close already, before we even came onto this film, it was almost like we were just playing ourselves. Um, but the similarities between Ian and myself go back to more when I was sort of in my early teens, 12, 13. I was a little bit of an introvert. I was a very nervous kid, and I had a hard time at school. And it wasn't until I went on this adventure that was Billy Elliot, where I sort of came out of my shell, and I became more confident in myself, and I believed in myself. And what drew me so much to this character was that we get to see that entire journey that I went on as a kid in him throughout this film. So I just was really happy to kind of pour my past experiences into this process. Um, and I'm really delighted and thrilled to where we got to. How about you, Chris? Hello. These couches are really nice looking. <laughs> I don't know made them, but this is built for somebody who has a room that no one will ever sit in. It's a couch for a very rich person. Because as soon as someone sits in this couch, you'll be like, yeah, let's take this back. This couch. Uh, so just a quick criticism of the couch uh, before I open. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing that I really like uh, in seeing, and I'm not sure that I was ever intentional or if I just noticed this while watching the movie, but it was a note that Dan gave me that it was actually against my own instinct. But I'm very glad that we went with what he wanted to on this which was Barley was never jealous of the fact that he didn't have the, the magic gift. And I think that that, to me, I didn't realize until seeing the movie, was very something very similar to my own relationship with my brother in which I was the Ian, I was the younger brother. Have you guys seen the movie? Yeah. Okay, great, so you know what I'm talking about. So, I have <laughs> They won't show me until the movie. I'll spoil it. <laughs> so now that you've seen the movie, I get so caught up I'm trying to explain what the movie is, so if you've seen the movie, this is going to be much easier for me to describe what I'm talking about. But I was Ian, and my brother was Barley. And my brother, for instance, always wanted to be an actor. He was an actor as a, uh, uh, he did plays. The first time I ever saw my mom cry was watching him do a play. He was a boo bear in the first grade uh, Christmas play, and I was like, wow, that's amazing. Being an actor is awesome. I want to be an actor. My brother did all these assemblies in high school, so I like followed his footsteps. I did all of the assemblies. Anyways, he went in the army, and he didn't become an actor, but I became an actor. And there was that moment where Barley realizes that Ian has the gift. And he comes in, and the line, I, my instinct, I was like, do you think Barley wishes that he had the magic gift? Because he's the one who loves magic. He wasn't able to do this, but his younger brother was. And I think this was really the heart of the film, is like, he loves his brother so much that he's just so proud of him, that he has this gift, that he's been given this gift. And when I saw that in the movie, how it was expressed, it really made me appreciate how my brother was with me, because my whole life, he's always only, and during my career, only ever been super encouraging and positive about what I've been able to do as an actor. And I think that's what makes this brotherhood and this relationship so special, and it's why grown men come up to me and say, wow, I really was moved, I really cried, this is like Field of Dreams or Radio Flyer to me. And the reason why is because it celebrates a love between a brother and between two brothers and that brotherhood. And that oftentimes is not something you see in movies. What you see is the older brother who doesn't let the, let the younger brother hang out with him, who doesn't take him to school, says, get out of here, nerd, get out of here, twerk. You know what I mean? That's why they sat us next to you on this couch. Is, the couch is actually it's messing actually, up the, the chemical. It is, the couch itself is hot. Yeah, and it's it very hot. Really yeah. hot. It is. It's a um, chemical reaction. So we, they did put, they did throw us together, and then they were able to see, like, wow, look at these two. They're like brothers. This is how they interact, and some of that was probably expressed in the movie. But yeah, we had to shoot it uh, and record it. It's funny with improvising on this job that you be improvising, 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 and then you just get down and be like, could you just do it as scripted, please? <laughs> well, like, you've yeah, put sure. me, you've put me in a booth. In another booth. Yeah. yeah. You. <laughs> Could you please do this differently? Thank Just you. do as you're told. Chris, any last comments on the couch before we wrap things up? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I think this couch yeah. is lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I want a YouTube series now where you just review couches. Well, the problem with this, I'll tell you the problem with this couch, okay? Yeah. Yeah. No one, it's designed for like an NBA player. Like, no one's femurs are as long as this. So if I want to sit with my legs touching the floor, my back's not touching the couch. I'm like, 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 I
The proportions are stupid. I, it's, I, it, it, it's, it's, it's like I have to be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to sit at this couch comfortably. And now I have to sit like this, and I'm mostly concerned because I know there's a camera. It's a terrible angle. Shoot, I don't know who came up with this couch. Hopefully you're in this room and you feel shame. <laughs> That's all I have. Mean, that's my only hope. Uh, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys all for your great questions today. I'm Thank you very much.